Maybe I use too much. Oopsie. I'm only human. Anytime someone has you in a mindset, frame of mind, whatever, where you feel like you have to prove yourself to them, they have the power. I... <sighs> <laughs> don't, don't play with me. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So, my birthday is in a couple days. So, today, basically, I'm going to be practicing very loosely my birthday look so that it can be perfect. Really? But yeah, also, as I'm practicing, I'm basically going to be reflecting on my life on this earth and just talking about the life lessons that I've gathered, you know? But yeah, I'm not really in the mood to do too much with my eyebrows. Obviously, like, the day of, I do think I'm gonna, you know, go off. But for now, I'm just gonna fill them in lightly. <laughs> Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless color 362. I think I bought this like two years ago. Um, I really need to update my makeup stash because this stuff is old, but it always gets the job done, so. Mm. <laughs> this year, just like any year, had its own set of growing pains, you know? Um, and I think the biggest lesson that I learned this year was that like, but yeah, I think I learned this year that there's no route that you choose that doesn't have downsides. And that was unfortunate because, you know, all my life I've just been waiting to like for the fairy tale to happen and for me to just like turn around and like my life is perfect and like there's just no downsides and I'm like, oh my goodness, like how did this happen? But I think that this year that I learned that that's not reality. So that was a little bitter to the taste. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then Elf 16 hour camera camo concealer matte finish this is tan sand but it's just made me think about like what's the most important in life and what do i want to get out of life the most yeah because i think like i don't know the american dream is like you have it all but i think the older you get the more you understand the american dream is very unrealistic and you're always gonna have to sacrifice something This is the lipstick that I'm going to use on my lips. I also want to use it as blush and see if that works out in my favor. We shall see. It's Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink. I forgot the shade. It's like Pioneer and Pioneer. So, bow, bow, bow. I'm going to make a point in two seconds. I'm going to make a really good point. Yeah, you have to decide what is most important to you. So like, is it your career? Is it being actually happy in life? Is it um, starting a family? Is it having a community? Is it being comfortable? Like, I don't know. I don't believe that you get more than like two or three at a time. Um, so yeah, I don't know why, like for some reason, like I've just been feeling like I need to figure everything out like tomorrow. Obviously I don't. I'm about to turn 20, so clearly I don't and I'm not going to. But that just makes me think where are my priorities and what's most important to me? Like, is it more important to me to be successful or is it more important for me to be happy? And for me, I'm always gonna go the happy route, so. <laughs> should I lean into a more simple route? Like, should I, you know, go real, real crazy, pursue a career? Like. I don't believe that I'm like aggressively a career woman. <laughs> I really don't like, yeah, I don't really think I would find fulfillment being number one in my career, whatever that is. So I kind of want to like, like obviously I'm working and like when I start feeling that'll stop, but I just don't know that I'm like, I don't think I have the that extra grit and determination and desperation and like i have to be on top to be number one so i don't know like mm -hmm. but yeah also this year i learned to listen to myself and it was very very helpful really did a lot also, a major. 
another major thing I learned this year is like I learned that I was attractive which I really didn't know for a long long time but yeah with that um attractiveness came its own set of issues yeah <laughs> I don't know this feels like too much maybe I use too much oopsie I'm only human oh gosh this is not oh no Gosh, guys, I'm scared. Maybe I'll be able to pick myself off the floor and dust off my bootstraps. But yeah, with the whole learning to be attractive thing, like not learning to be attractive, but whatever, accepting, realizing, I don't know, that I am attractive, I found, experienced a fair amount of jealousy that's not obnoxiously new to me. I think I've always dealt with it, like, unfortunately, that just is what it is. And yeah, for some reason, it just made me, like, jump back into people pleaser mode because, like, I didn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. And also, I didn't want people to just think of me as, like, a brainless pretty girl or, like, a rude pretty girl or blah, blah, blah. Like, the whole intimidating thing, like, I've got that my whole life. <laughs> people really are very repetitive but yeah I'm all intimidating like I'm always like oh getting oh you're so intimidating oh 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 <laughs> like I don't know I'm a very nice and respectful person and anybody that's interacted with me knows that but people who were jealous of me or people that I made insecure would always like bring that up and always reinforce that and it would make me feel like it would make me not set boundaries because I would be like oh if I set this boundary then I'm being like I'm just being pretty and mean I don't know like I feel like there were a lot of just negative stereotypes that came with being pretty that a lot of people were pushing on me and so it made me kind of like it made me like want to fight so hard to not be that so if like I was in class and like I was dealing with a guy and like I could tell that he just thought I was like pretty and dumb I would like try super hard to be like no I'm smart like really and really show him like and there's really just no point in that because the whole point of stereotypes is that they're based on nothing I don't know if stereotypes are prejudice or whatever is that they're based on nothing so like no matter how much i act aggressively nice or i can get 37 degrees tomorrow there's still going to be somebody that like just looks at me and thinks that of me and yeah i think this year i just learned to like take my l's so to speak so like if somebody looks at me and they see me that way go off queen go off king that's your business that's not mine like Anytime someone has you in a mindset, frame of mind, whatever, where you feel like you have to prove yourself to them, they have the power. So in that, I think I was giving a lot of people in my life and a, more power over me than they needed. So now I just, girl, if I'm rude, thank you. If I'm dumb, thank you. Like, I just like, it's really your business. I don't know if this is working, you know, I'm like nervy. I'm not really a big contour girl. Also, I just haven't done my makeup in a long time, so really I'm just out here winging it, hoping for the best. <laughs> With the whole pretty discovery and being perceived in that manner, I think it just taught me that like, people are gonna think what they want, so just let them. Like never be too focused on people's idea of you, especially if they're not important in your life, if they're not close to you, if they're not like, a trustworthy source like if you don't know if they have good character like just let them think if they think you're rude if they think you you know just just let them think because all that energy that you exert trying to like prove yourself to someone you're gonna have to keep on doing that day after day after day and hour after hour after hour and you can do that for like 72 hours on end and then the second you do like one little thing you're gonna go back to being whatever they thought you were so be you never be afraid to be you <laughs> But seriously, like, learn how to step out of people's, this mirror's doing a lot. Learn how to step out of people's perceptions of you and just focus on what makes you happy and living your life to the fullest. And that's what I learned, honey. No, I think I'm chewing, I think I can get there. So I'll play with my <laughs> I think since the pandemic hit, there's been like a scary amount of deaths especially with young people like it's really really creepy like every time i turn on the you at the news there's another young person that died and it's like i don't know it's just really eerie but <clears throat> with that i think that just reminded me that you know like 
life is short and you shouldn't spend your time you shouldn't spend your time in authentically you really need to spend your time doing things that make you happy being around people that make you happy being in spaces that make you happy like pursuing your passions because like nobody thinks they're gonna die young and obviously god forbid i hope that you know i'm just wishing the best for everybody but like you never know so you don't want you don't want to have spent all your time bsing yeah i don't know it's just scary life is short so you know i think take the risks and follow your passions and just be safe be very very safe don't play with me please don't play okay don't play you know i bake <laughs> i bake mistakes are inevitable there is no like perfect route to take like let's say you have three decisions each decision has its downsides and its upsides and you need to figure out what's most important to you but i think i touched on that in the, the beginning but seriously like nobody in life is perfect and nobody in life is going to be perfect like there's no there's just no reality where you're not going to make some type of mistake so just learn to forgive yourself early and I generally another like really big thing that i learned this year was like how you take care of yourself and how you speak to yourself and how you treat yourself and how much grace you give yourself etc etc like all of that makes such a big deal because like you won't even understand how much people aren't giving it to you if you're not giving it to yourself so i didn't understand how much how much compassion i wasn't receiving in my relationships and still until i started like actually taking care of myself then i was like oh these people don't care about me so it's embarrassing but <laughs> not embarrassing but like i said you know everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days so that's real but about the like you have to choose certain things in life i was just going to talk about how some some things combat each other so like super 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 success and healthy 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 happy family do not go together just time wise they're not going to go together so you have to be realistic with yourself and be like which one is more important to me so with that i'm not saying there's a right answer or a wrong answer as you're deciding your life and your next steps you do have to understand that like certain stuff just logistically do not go together so just be honest with yourself about what's more important like bro and also Another thing I learned this year is just the downsides of technology and downsides of social media and really working on your attention span and working on being present and just working on building yourself up as a human when you take a step back from social media. Like I feel like when you take a step back from it, you understand how dangerous it is and how much it's like controlling you and like um dealing with your emotions and giving you an emotional roller coaster like you woke up feeling good you open instagram now you're angry like is this too much this year i tried to like take more steps back from it and like just sit with myself a little more and obviously i'm human so like yeah, i'm on there but just like you know trying to be present more and genuinely working on your attention span because like it's so important in general like I don't know but you need to like you need to know what's being said to you when you're in a conversation you need to be able to relate like what was said to you like you should be able to have a conversation with somebody and essentially what they said to you you can say it right back because you're actually listening and you're actually present if you can't do that and like, anyways I know some people think like oh no it's just because this person is annoying but no, like some people genuinely like do not have the ability to sit down and like intake information. And that is an issue because you can't advance in life in many ways if you don't know how to sit down and take in information. So, real. Yeah. Also, another thing I learned this year is that life is meant to be enjoyed it's not all about pain pain and struggle struggle strife like we're here like we're supposed to enjoy ourselves some of the time so do things that make you happy like you know let me just try something you know life's all about trying <laughs> yeah another thing that i learned um while 
or when I stepped off social media is that like it goes with the whole attention span thing kind of you need to be you need to be able to have conversations with people you don't agree with because the world is full of people you don't agree with and also understanding that like you can learn from anybody like life is the biggest teacher so never like never be so egotistical that you're like no this person can't teach me anything I think that like you should just go into situations very open and like very humble and very eager to learn because once you think you know it all like somebody's gonna let you know you don't and that's usually not fun so maybe I'll just like try the whole thing highlighted I don't know <laughs> I don't think it made a difference. The biggest thing is that I just wanted red lips instead of my usual like brown liner because I want to I want to feel like a classy girl, you know? So we shall see. It smells like berries. Seriously, it smells so good. I <laughs> don't don't play with me. I don't know if I'm being hard on myself or if it's just not working for me. But let's put the hair down and see. Okay, I'm scared, like, I'm scared. I'm Eden. Yeah, your name, Eden. I don't know why. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Please stop. I just feel like I look like a clown. Am I being hard on myself? I've never seen myself on red lipstick, so I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm about to go ask my roommate, but maybe I just need time to let it grow on me, like, you know? I don't know. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> Is this what red lips are supposed to look like? Can somebody please tell me? Please. Please. Wrong or right, this is where I'm at. Also the lighting, <laughs> but I can't blame the lighting every time, but I'll try to move and see. I'm about to cry. Just kidding. Psych, I'm not crying for you. Um, I don't know that this is gonna be my reality. Let me be serious. Yeah, I really don't know. I don't know what I'm about to do when it's birthday time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.